you ever have a need to change a washed out image like this and convert it into a bright sunny day? Because the leaves of the trees in this clip move in the wind, a more usual fixed mask will not do the job. We need a different approach. First, we'll address the sky. In Vegas Pro we need five video tracks, a clip of blue sky and the original clip. To start, drag the original clip onto track 3. Press Ctrl and drag a copy onto track 1 and then mute this track. Go back to track 3 and open Event Effects and double click black and white followed by brightness and contrast. Use the contrast and brightness sliders to make the foliage as black as possible and the sky area as white as you can. This will always be a compromise. Go back to Event Effects and select Invert. If as in this case, areas of black show through the white mask, we need to get rid of them, as any area that shows black is transparent. To do this, open Media Generators from the Solid Colour selection and drag a whiteboard onto Track 2. To help determine the area that needs to be included, reduce the opacity of the white clip on Track 2. Now open the Pan and Crop tool to create a mask. Ensure that the mask box is checked and then, using the Anchor Creation tool, create a mask covering the hills and solid foliage, but excluding area where the sky needs to show through, including not only the main sky, but also between the leaves of the trees. Once the mask is complete, reset the opacity to 100%. Check that the black transparent areas are white, whilst the areas where the sky must show have remained black and thus transparent. Go to track 1, switch off mute and open compositing mode and select multiply mask. Now go to track 3 and in compositing mode select screen. It's now time to introduce the replacement sky onto track 4 and check that it shows in the preview screen. If there is a need for further adjustment, place a copy of the original clip into track 5 and then slightly reduce the opacity of the sky. This can help smooth the join between the sky and the rest of the picture. Once you are happy, move on to adjusting the main image. These changes are made to the image on track 1, where we select Event Effects, followed by Color Corrector. Adjustments will vary by clip, but in this case it seems that a boost of about 1.247 is right for saturation, and 1.002 for gamma. So there we have it. Perhaps it's worth going back to look where we started. And now, our finished product. I hope you found this of value and that the process will be of use to you. As always, thank you for watching.